All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Really excited to show you this video, how to register to vote for Project Catalyst Fund 3. So we have a new version of Daedalus with an integrated voting center. I wanted to show you this process using the Daedalus wallet. Really nice that voting is also available for the Yoroi wallet. I will be posting a future video showing you how to do that if you are a Yoroi user. In order to vote for Project Catalyst Fund 3 using the Daedalus wallet, you want to make sure you download two specific applications. In this instance, what we'll need first is the mainnet Daedalus wallet. It can be downloaded at daedaluswallet.io. I will be sure to leave all the links for you all down in the description below. And then also, if you wanted to use the links in this article, that's also another good way to get those as well. You'll also need to download the Catalyst voting app either from the Google Play Store or the iOS Store. After that, we can go ahead and head over to our Daedalus wallet. In this instance, I've already got that pulled up on my computer. A prerequisite in order to vote in this funding round is 3000 ADA. So as we can see in this current wallet, the previous requirement was 8,000 ADA. So nice to see that with the rise in price of Cardano, making it a bit more accessible for people who are interested in voting. Of course now, with the rise in price, we also see that it might be a bit of a barrier to entry. So let me know what you guys think. Is 3,000 a reasonable number to have as a minimum requirement to vote? Let me know down in the comment section. So once we have our Daedalus wallet with a minimum of 3,000 ADA up and running, ready to go, we can head over to the registration center. So this is one of the new features of this version of Daedalus. If you click on this option, it's going to give you the option to download the Catalyst voting app directly to your smartphone. Depending on if you have the iPhone or if you have an Android, you can scan the QR codes that are directly within Daedalus. What we can see here is that this is where you will go to register to vote and 70,000 US dollars worth of ADA rewards will be distributed to ADA holders who register to vote. Now, if we click on learn more within Daedalus, it'll take us directly to the Cardano.ideascale website. I'm gonna show you that here in this video and we're also gonna go over some frequently asked questions. Once we've went ahead and downloaded our version of the Catalyst voting app, we can click on the box to show that we have already downloaded and click on register to vote. From here, it's gonna give us the option to select the wallet which we'd like to use to vote. One thing to note, I'm sure it's a common question that we're gonna receive for people who are interested in voting is gonna be, can you use a hardware wallet to register to vote? Unfortunately, in this voting round, hardware wallet support is not currently supported in Daedalus for voting. So hopefully we do see that soon. Uh, unfortunately, Fun3 not ready for hardware wallet support. So in this instance, we're gonna click on the wallet which we'd like to use to register. We can click on continue. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and type in my spending password. Once you've typed in your spending password, we can see the transaction fee to register. So we'll go ahead and click on submit registration transaction. This is going to submit a transaction to the blockchain. It takes a few minutes, not too bad. So we're gonna let this transaction go through and we'll be back as soon as it's finished. So it looks like Daedalus is almost completed with the confirmation for the transaction. So it's taken a few minutes so far, really not that bad. Um, I guess it's just a network confirmation of the transaction. So it's just waiting for it to complete. You can see here now it's at 10 out of 10, transaction is confirmed. So we can go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, the process is asking us to enter in a PIN. So it's very important that you remember this PIN. This is gonna be the PIN that gives you the ability to vote using the mobile application. So you wanna make sure you have this either written down or you have it committed to memory. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and type in my PIN. Okay, and then here it's asking me to repeat the same PIN. Okay, after I've typed in the same PIN, we can click on continue. All right, so from here, what we'll have to do is we'll have to grab our mobile device. Now, what you wanna do, this is a QR code. So this QR code is gonna be very important. You wanna make sure that you download this QR code. After you close this window, the QR code will no longer be available. So it is very important that you have this saved, that you have it physically available for you to retrieve 
in order to vote when the time comes to vote on proposals. So what we're gonna do is click on the options at the bottom saying that we understand that we will not be able to retrieve this QR code again after closing the window, and that we acknowledge that we must have a downloaded PDF with the QR code to vote with Fund3. In order to download it, let's go ahead and save as a PDF. This is going to give us the option to save this to our desktop. We'll just keep this as default. Okay, excellent. So I've went through and blurred out this QR code, of course, for security purposes, but essentially you just wanna follow the prompts there to go ahead and download this QR code as a PDF. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and head over to the Catalyst voting app on our mobile device. So once we've downloaded the Catalyst voting app on our smartphone, I've went ahead and opened up the application. This is the main page we can see at the very top. It shows us our voting power. It shows us our rewards in ADA. I've already gone through the process of installing the application on my device, and I use the same application to vote in Fund 2. So I see this orange notification, complete registration to receive voting power. You're going to receive a similar notification in order to register. So what you want to do is go ahead and tap on it. And then at the bottom, it shows us the option to register to vote. So we'll need to choose the option to scan voting QR code. Once we tap on that, it's gonna open up our camera. We'll need to scan the QR code that we saw in our Daedalus wallet. Now that we've scanned that QR code, using the same pin code that we'd entered into Daedalus, we need to type that into the mobile application. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and type in my pin code. After you've went ahead and typed in the correct pin code, choose the option to decrypt and set access code. It's saying that registration is in process and access pin set. All right, so registration will be complete at March 5th of 2021. Your voting power will be determined by your ADA balance in the wallet you registered. All right, so we can tap on at the bottom where it says got it. So guys, that's pretty much it. As soon as we've gone through that entire process of confirming on our mobile device using the QR code and the pin that we've set in Daedalus, that's pretty much the entire process. You've now successfully registered to vote in Project Catalyst for Fund 3. So now that we've gone through that entire process, I wanted to take a look at some frequently asked questions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the IOHK Zendesk article. We can see here just some frequently asked questions that I wanted to go through. Now, what we saw was when we went through the process, unfortunately, Ledger hardware wallet support as well as Trezor hardware support is not currently supported for this funding round. Hopefully we do see that support for future funding rounds. Another common question that I've been receiving is, can you vote on your Euroi wallet? So the answer, thankfully, in this voting round is yes. So voting is currently available for the Euroi desktop extension. Unfortunately, voting is not yet ready for Euroi mobile. It does mention that here in this support article as well. Unfortunately, Euroi mobile is not currently supported for voting. Um, another big question is going to be how much ADA will I receive in rewards? So we're going to take a look at that here, uh, how voting rewards are calculated. It's a bit complicated. It's a large math problem really, but essentially 70,000 US dollars worth of ADA will be distributed to ADA holders who registered to vote. And then taking a look at some of these other frequently asked questions, when does the registration process start? So that is today, it's February 17th the exact date and time for the balance snapshot. So like we were talking about earlier, as far as the minimum requirement to vote, so 3000 is the minimum requirement of ADA in order to be eligible to participate in this funding round. So March 3rd is the date of the balance snapshot. And when voting starts is gonna be March 5th. So two days right after that, and it's going to end on March 24th. So let's go ahead and quickly take a look at those voting rewards. I just want to show you that. And then before we wrap up today, I will go ahead and show you the Cardano.ideascale website where you can go to to find out which proposals you'd like to vote for. In this article, we can see here how voting rewards are calculated. I just wanted to show you this. It's a bit complex. I will be doing future videos on voting rewards as the process becomes a bit easier. So now the final reward formula for participant in fund three provided in ADA is the following. So we have this formula. So we have 70,000 US dollars worth of ADA, which is going to be distributed to participants who did vote. So it's showing that RJ, which is the rewards for the participants, 
equals your stake. So the stake of the participant. So how much ADA that you had in your wallets at the time of the balance snapshot when you participated in registration divided by the total stake of the participants in fund three. And then you would multiply that by the amount of ADA which will be distributed. In this instance, 70,000 US dollars worth of ADA will be distributed for participating in voting. So it's a bit complex, a lot of variables there. So the rewards are gonna depend on two factors, your own stake and the total stake participation. So just a high level to show you what exactly you can anticipate to earn in rewards. I will be sure to post more content related to this. So if you're interested in finding out more as we move forward with Fund 3, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. And last thing before I let you all go today, I just wanted to show you the Cardano.ideascale website. Now, this is also going to be available in that frequently asked question Zendesk article. So if you do want to check that out, all the links are provided in that article. I would recommend that you spend some time on this website. This is going to show you all the different proposals that are being submitted by members in the community. In this instance, we see here at the very top, Liquid Protocol. So lots of anticipation for DeFi. I'm excited to see what they are building at Liquid. Um, Cardano Sharp is a .NET library. So lots of cool things that are made available for developers. A comprehensive NFT framework collaboration. You guys know that we're really excited about NFTs. The Crowdano crowdfunding platform. So Crypto Crow definitely making his way into Project Catalyst. Really nice to see that. So guys, lots of cool things. The West African Decentralized Alliance, just so much amazing innovation happening within the community. So if you're gonna be registering to vote, definitely be sure to check out the cardano.ideascale website. All right, everyone, I hope I've answered some of the questions that you may have as it is related to voting. If you do have any questions, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section, or you can also be sure to join our free Telegram support group. We've got an amazing community there that can help you out if you do have any questions related to voting. All right, everyone, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. Thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. If you did find this video valuable and informative, please be sure to drop a like for me before you head out today. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.